Hi, this is Frank Taylor at Nature at Your Door. I'm standing here next to a Chinese windmill palm. This is an episode of Nature at Your Door on the road, and I'm in Ticino, Switzerland. I'm actually on the property of the, where the house that my grandfather built in 1901 here in Switzerland. My mother was actually born in this house, in the front room, in the bed that's actually still there. So there's a lot of history here. But what I want to talk about today, the focus of this episode, is these Chinese windmill palms that actually make Ticino. It's sort of the iconic look of this part of Switzerland where it's so unusual for Switzerland because it is, has a Mediterranean climate. Here are growing fig trees, olive trees, palm trees, and these palms really say this is Ticino. So today's episode is about the Chinese windmill palms that are so iconic and describe this area of Switzerland and they're actually invasive. 50 years ago, they were not a problem, but suddenly now they're becoming a problem. And I'll explain why in this episode. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Most people, when they think of Switzerland, do not think of palm trees. And yet here, in this part of Switzerland, it is truly symbolic of the Italian-speaking canton of Ticino. Switzerland is made up of 26 cantons featuring four national languages. The canton of Ticino, where my mother was born and much of my family is from, is in the southernmost canton of Switzerland and lies completely to the south of the Alps. Ticino borders Italy and includes many of the lakes of the northern Italian Lake District. Ticino has been referred to as the Swiss Riviera, as well as the sunny front porch of Switzerland. The climate is decidedly much warmer than the rest of Switzerland, and because of its geographic location, it is strongly influenced by warm Mediterranean air circulation that is dammed up at the base of the Alps. I've already pointed out that there are many southern species proliferating in this warm, sunny climate, including grapes, figs, olive trees, and other semi-tropical plants. These Chinese fan palms were introduced years ago as a pleasing ornamental that would do well in this sunny, warm environment of southern Switzerland. Its scientific name is Trachycarpus fortunae. They are also known as the Chinese windmill palm, or simply the windmill palm, or the fountain palm. It's native to subtropical and temperate forests of China, and it should be noted that it can be found in its native habitat in forests up to 7,000 feet in elevation. The Chinese fan palm can be identified by its large spreading fan-like leaves that remind some of a windmill, and its very characteristic shaggy and hairy bark that looks more like a fabric than an actual bark of a tree. As I researched these palms online, I found many references to what a great non-native plant they are and how they're sold by many nurseries across the United States, particularly in California and up the southeast coast from Florida to North Carolina. Nurseries selling these non-native plants praised its virtues as an ornamental. As you can see in my photos and videos here, this tree was extensively planted as an ornamental here in Ticino, especially along the shores of Lake Lugano and Lago Maggiore. Many of the old villas feature gardens that featured this Chinese palm tree. Many of my videos of this tree were in fact taken from a boat as I passed along the shorelines of Lake Lugano. Fifty years ago, these trees were not recognized or were not a problem as an invasive species. They pretty much occurred only where they were planted. But in the last 30 years, with milder winters and warmer temperatures, these trees are gaining a foothold in the wild. I have actually been able to observe this on our property here that surrounds our historic family home. We've seen volunteer fan palms sprouting up and growing on their own, 
An interesting characteristic of this plant is their shade tolerance. In fact, they prefer not being in full sun. Consequently, these non-native palm trees are able to sprout in forested and semi-forested areas and do very well even in the shade. The forests here in Ticino are beginning to look semi-tropical in nature because of this new invasive quality of the palm tree encouraged by warmer annual temperatures. And just as they occur up to 7,000 feet in temperate forests in its native China, these palms are spreading up into the mountain forests of Ticino as well. Ecologically, this is a concern because of their displacement of native species and also because their root systems don't hold and retain soil as well as the native species on many steep, hilly, and mountainous slopes of Ticino. The palms are also a concern because of the amount of dry leaves and debris they leave as they grow, creating a higher risk of forest fires when compared to native species. In a report published March 14, 2023 in the Swiss Federal Institute for Forest, Snow, and Landscape Research, they recommend targeted control methods to control the spread of the Chinese windmill palm. The research team reported that in 10 forest sites they studied, there are significantly fewer plant species when windmill palms were present. Right now, these palms are limited to forests and lower elevations because they're limited by cold temperatures. However, there's concern they will continue to spread and move up in elevation as climate change continues to show warming. Interestingly enough, the researchers also conducted a nationwide survey on the public's perception of windmill palms, and most people in Switzerland saw them positively as a Ticino landmark. The researchers concluded that recommending a ban on these trees would leave little public support, so they were recommending to limit their further spread by asking homeowners to remove flowers and fruits and remove stray palms and planting alternative non-invasive palm species. Switzerland, like other countries around the world, have a number of different invasive species that are a concern. And it's been very interesting to see how this iconic palm tree that was once not acting as an invasive species, but now with climate change, it's becoming a significant risk and invader to Chichino native forests. And it's also very interesting how the public view and attitude about this species and its recognition as a symbol or icon of Ticino is likely to interfere with efforts to stop the invasion of Chinese windmill palms into native Ticino forests. So this has been a Nature at Your Door on the Road episode here in Ticino, Switzerland, where my family is from on my mother's side, and our topic was the Chinese windmill palm. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.